Welcome back! I have a quite interesting topic today. Let's move into the video now. Laughing, a trade of info about laughing. The definition of laughing, making the spontaneous sounds and movements of the face and body that are the instinctive expressions of lively amusement and sometimes also of derision is called laughing. Do you have any idea on why do we laugh? One of the best feelings in the world that also brings so much of cheer to life is laughter. It really is one of the best medicines in the world. Also, whether it's a smile or just a slight giggle, laughter completely alters the atmosphere and mood of the surroundings. Furthermore, it makes you feel good and everyone around you will also feel positive vibes. Here, I have a question for you. Can laughing kill you? You might think what I'm talking about. Yes, it's true that laughing extends your lifetime. But there is a funny incident when a man died because of laughing. And the comedy here is, he died laughing to his own joke. Man who died from laughter. Chrysippus, born in 280 before Christ, died in 206. Greek philosopher from Soli, who was the principal systematizer of Stoic philosophy. He is considered to have been with Zeno, co-founder of the academy at Athens, Stoa. Death from laughter, is that even a thing? Apparently, yes. It is a rare form of death which causes cardiac arrest, asphyxiation or a loss of consciousness triggered by a fit of serious giggles. This weird way of dying has actually been reported since ancient times with one particular case that occurred with Chrysippus, a Stoic philosopher who died at the age of 73 during the 143rd Olympiad. And as far as his death is concerned, there are apparently two distinct accounts recorded by Diogenes Laertius. The first one says that Chrysippus felt dizzy after drinking undiluted wine at a feast which killed him. In the second account, Leatrice recalled the 143rd Olympiad which took place in 208 to 204 before Christ. At that time, Chrysippus saw a donkey eating his figs and reportedly yelled, Now give the donkey a pure wine to wash down the figs and then started laughing so hard that he fell on the ground before starting to shake uncontrollably with foam coming out of his mouth. While people tried to help him, he apparently died soon after. And here fix is a type of fruit. You can search it in Google, I think. Studies have shown that 10 to 15 minutes of laughter can burn 50 or more calories. Still, some researchers believe laughter can help you live a longer life. Researchers in Japan and Norway have conducted studies that suggest laughter may lead to living a longer life. Laughter might be thought of as an audible expression or appearance of excitement, an inward feeling of joy and happiness. It may ensue from jokes, tickling and other stimuli completely unrelated to psychological state such as nitrous oxide. Do you know that it's hard to catch your breath when you laugh because your diaphragm spams? This is why your laughter sounds like ha 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 or ha 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 or he he he. I'm sorry. You can't make yourself laugh by tickling yourself. Why? It's impossible to surprise your brain. Your brain predicts the sensation your fingers will make just before you tickle yourself. So it's not a surprise. Benefits of laughing regularly. Improves cardiovascular health. Laughing is a good workout for your cardio. Laughing is an exercise where you inhale oxygen and this stimulates the heart, releases endorphins. There are tiny neurochemicals in our body in the form of endorphins that act as a pain reliever. So when you laugh, 
it releases the endorphins. Thus, it can help you in reducing the pain and thereby enhances your mood. Reduces stress. Laughter helps in reducing the level of stress hormones in one's body. Thus, it will ultimately reduce the anxiety and stress that can negatively impact your body. Also, reduction in stress will lead to higher immune performance. I found this utterance while surfing the net. Laughing is a good medicine, but if you laugh for no reason, you need medicine. <laughs> laughing syndrome. Pseudobubbler effect (PBA) is a condition that's characterized by episodes of sudden uncontrollable and inappropriate laughing or crying. Pseudobubbler effect typically occurs in people with certain neurological conditions or injuries which might affect the way the brain controls emotion. I know this video is a bit lengthy, but I had to include some sort of things. So thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe, please. Bye-bye.